welcome students in my new tutorial and my today's topic is record changes in spreadsheet so according to the definition record changes feature is used to track every edited cell by highlighting with a colored border now what this means when we are doing any editing and if that particular spreadsheet is been used by many users so and we want to know which user has done what kind of changes so for that we need this feature record changes feature now this feature automatically records whatever the changes is been done by the particular user reading ahead calc has the feature to track what data was changed when the change was made who made the change and in which cell the change has occurred so very clearly the definition is been indicating that when the change was made and who has changed so according to the date and according to the user it will give the full details so directly now i'll show this practical in my calc sheet so i am here in my sheet i have just randomly opened one sheet now suppose here i have uh, given some data and if i am doing some changes here suppose instead of 35000 i am writing here 60000 you could see here red border is coming can you see this is happening because record feature is on and you could see here the my name is given and it is indicating what change i have done change from 35000 to 60000 so how to on this so this feature is available here and we have to click on edit changes record so i'll just off it yes i have off each and everything now if this feature is off and now if i am doing any changes suppose i am doing 40000 and all so what happens nobody knows what kind of change was done earlier and if this spreadsheet file is been used by many users if more than one user is working and some other user is doing any changes so what happens nobody knows afterwards what change was done and who has done the change so in this kind of situation this feature record feature is very beneficial so for just to on that feature i'll click on changes record now once i have start the recording so whatever the changes i'll be doing now that will be recorded for example now suppose there 30000 instead of 30000 now i am writing here 50000 you will see here red border this is the red border so that's indicated that i have done the changes now here suppose i am doing further changes here instead of 15000 i am writing here 20000 you could see here the changes here also the red border is there now instead of 18000 suppose i am writing here 50000 here also the changes are there 36000 so wherever i am doing the changes it's indicating with the red border changes record now different different options are there firstly is record if i'll again click it it will stop the recording process now the other one is accept or reject changes this show i'll tell you afterwards firstly accept or reject if i click on this so why we need this accept or reject suppose i have saved this file i have closed this now again i am opening this file suppose other user wants to open the same file and if i have opened the file you could see here when we'll open the file the red border is again seen now suppose many users are using this file and the main organizer of the company wants to see what kind of changes is to be done and what changes is to be accepted and what changes are not to be accepted so just for that we have to click on changes accept or reject you will see here accept or reject changes dialog box will appear and it will show the changes contents like position salary b2 my name other as a my name because i am only doing the changes but suppose if many users are doing 
in my computer only one user is there but if many users are doing the their name will also come here and here it will show b2 change from 30000 to 50000 15000 to 20000 like this now different different options are there accept reject accept all reject all if i click on accept all means whatever the changes is been done that will be accepted if i click on reject all all the changes will be rejected now here i have the particular option suppose the first one this i feel like this is okay so i click on accept then suppose second one this one i feel like okay i should reject it the earlier figure 15000 was okay then i'll reject it then the third one suppose i'll accept fourth one i'll reject so here it will show what was accepted and what was rejected so here you could see all the changes is been done and whatever the red border was that's gone now here in edit changes so here i can see show option is there if i click on show option now it will show me whatever the changes was done earlier it will give me the filter settings show accepted changes show rejected changes suppose i click on okay it it is showing me the list whatever the changes were done i'll again go click on changes show along with this date feature is also there now suppose if we are doing the changes from many days so we can give the date also what date earlier than any particular date we can do the filtering others if different others are using we can use different others then if particular range is there that also we could select like suppose i want to see uh the range at the bottom so what i'll do i'll just click it here uh, set reference and then suppose i want to see the changes here only so i'll just select this i'll go back now you could see here the range is been set and then i click on okay by default actually i have set the date also so i'll just unclick it now i think it should show yeah so you could see here now it's showing so i hope uh, this concept is very much clear how to use changes and show feature then accept or reject also i have told you no along with this there is an option of comments so just to clear that suppose you could see here one comment is coming like if we click on this like 15000 it is showing that this cell was changed no along with this if i want to write any comment what i should do add it changes here you could see comments so i'll click on comments and here i can write any comment suppose gross salary of abc suppose i'm writing this and if i click on okay and now i am suppose putting my mouse here you could see here uh you uh, gross salary of abc so we can add our own comments and it will be active wherever we have done the changes suppose again i am doing some changes here uh dl like 6000 i am doing the changes here uh, you will uh, you will say me uh, why the red line has not come it's not coming because i have already done the changes here show so again i have to click on show here and from here because i have given the range so i'll unclick it okay so now it's showing me all the changes wherever it's been done so here i want to give some comment i can click on add it changes commands and here i can write da and i'll click on okay so when i'll put my mouse when i hover my mouse here you could see here da is coming okay i hope it is clear to you 
Now, further, there is one more option to give the command. If I right click it here, right click, and then uh, here also you will find insert command. I can click on insert command and uh, I could write here 40 percent, and I think that will be okay. Now, if I will click it, you could see here DA was separate and 40 percent is coming at the bottom. So, this is another way to give the command. From two places, we can give the command. One from edit changes and comments. So, that which was coming in between, like uh, this one DA is coming in between. This is another way to give the command. So, we can do the addition in the command by this way. So, if we want to do any changes in our command, we can click on edit changes. Uh, we have to again click on comments. So, from here DA like, I can write here DA of a person and click on OK. So, if I will do that, so that changes will be done. You could see here, it is coming here, DA of a person. So, I am closing my tutorial here only and I hope the whole concept how to record the changes, what are the benefits, practically how to do the changes that has been clear to you and how to give the command, how to edit the command. So, still if any doubt is there, you can always free to comment here. So, I am closing my tutorial here only, still if any doubt is there, you are welcome to give a comment. I will be happy to see your comments. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Wait for my next tutorial.